Singapore is one of the world's premium educational hubs. Its schools are regarded as second homes for its people, and its teaching faculty takes pride in building a cohesive and conducive community. However, deep within our first-class education system, cases of chronic bullying are still prevalent. Here are some examples that we have found. In fact, on further investigations, we found out that bullying is hardly addressed in secondary schools. Singapore has a victimization rate of 94.7%, which is one of the highest ever reported. Researchers found out that the current in intervention policies are ineffective in addressing this issue. What's worse is that the students themselves don't comprehend the insidiousness or its detrimental effects. The effects of bullying can be very severe and can affect their transition into adulthood. This is why we as aspiring applied theatre practitioners, we just couldn't let this problem persist unrecognised in our community. To raise awareness about the issue of bullying, we've utilised the theatre and education methodology in our intervention programme. Theatre and education is a process that integrates the aesthetics of theatre and the participation from the audience through dramatic activities. Our pilot bullying intervention program to NUS High School. Our performance revolves around the three major roles in bullying. There are two aims of the performance. The first is to explore the victim's perspective and the second is to explore issues the bystanders face. Shown, I was actually uh, felt yeah quite horrible. 
I was putting myself into, into that scene and you know personally I've seen these uh, events before I've seen uh, bullies doing this to my friends and because I've actually been in that Nobody should have to go through that alone. And from the way it's portrayed, it might as well as be alone. Miss Tom, please! Okay guys, I would like you to write down what you think Dominic's personality is like. And also write down what you think, what are your personal feelings towards him. Dominic is very hot, he does. I felt that Dominic was, quite frankly, a jerk. Dominic is someone who doesn't have that thing called empathy because he doesn't understand how Mike feels and he doesn't even think about trying to figure it out because in Dominic's mind, he thinks that Mike is separate from himself it's not the same as himself I like Mike because of his perseverance and how he tries to motivate himself but I don't find that he's taking all this onto himself he doesn't all that much effort into getting other people to help you. Well, what we can see here is that different people have different definitions of bullying, right? I think bullying should be considered a crime, which is a form of violence, but people just don't take it very seriously. I believe bullying uses fear, a very powerful weapon. Fear can destroy us or motivate, motivate us. Personally, I believe that the NSI students are very, very bright. Uh, being, give, being gifted students, they were able to throw out theories throughout concepts, but there was no exploration of the issue. However, uh, this does not mean that our entire program was a failure. It's when the facilitators and participants are involved in the dialogical process. And it really brought back the, the exploration process. At the Black Data, they materialized the thoughts and feelings of uh, an individual. And so they actually understood, they understood themselves better. And I feel that it's through such participation in the dramatic world the highest form of learning to emerge. I experienced for myself that it is because of spontaneity it is catered to the specific needs of the participant that further enlightenment and learning will emerge. In this program, 
program, I realized that the audience have a need for the victim of bullying has increased. And they didn't know that bullying was actually that bad. At the end of the program, they understand how an individual could be forced into the dynamics of bullying, either as a victim, a bully, or a bystander. That is very fulfilling to see that uh, the participants are actively seeking solutions um, for themselves. So lastly, what I've learned from this program is that It's only when the facilitators challenge and question the participants' thoughts and beliefs To break away from fixed ideas from textbook answers They then learn about it and they reflect further and gain further advice